Good showdown in high school boys lacrosse early in the season. Two undefeated teams, Wachusett and Groton Dunstable. This one being played up on the mountaintop, Hal Lane Field, under the lights. Well, first in daylight, and then it moved to under the lights. Pick it up in the third quarter. 2 2 game. Michael tomorrow feeds Jack O'Neill. He scores, and Groton Dunstable has a 3 2 lead. Then it is O'Neill on the ISO, feeding Blake Lacombe. Lacombe with the jump shot. He ripples. It's 4 2 Crusaders. Ben Bickerstaff from the X behind the net comes out dense. The mesh, it's 4 3. Tomorrow coming from the X as well. Beats his man. Tomorrow scores. 5-3, Groton Dunstable in front. Then it is O'Neill taking it to the cage. Good shot, and Will Wigand with a kick save and a beauty for Wachusett. Jack Wishart on the crease. Ripples, gets buried, it's 5-4, Wachusett's down by one. Tomorrow taking his man, good strength. Tomorrow's got a twine finder. 6-4, Groton Dunstable in front. Fourth quarter now. Connor Dubzinski leading the break to Andrew Gaffney, to Troy Waitkiss. Sweet shot rippling. 6-5, Wachusett's down by one. Groton Dunstable, Lacombe to Tomorrow. Tomorrow denting the mesh. He had a hat trick. More from Groton Dunstable. Liam McDonough on the ISO. Feeding Lacombe, Andy's favorite player. We've yet to find a relation, but that's okay. He scores, he's had two goals on the night. And Groton Dunstable gets to win 9-5, your final. Westboro taking on Shrewsbury and boys lacrosse as well. Second quarter, Shrewsbury up 4-0. Matt Ward on the ISO. Ward ripples, 5-0 Colonials in front. Shrewsbury continuing to attack. Alec Budio on the ISO. Budio feeds the shot. Drew Arnold with the save for Westboro. Colonials calling Michael with the shot. Arnold with the save. Matt Ward scores on the rebound. Ward had the Texas hat trick. He had four goals. Six nothing Shrewsbury in front. Kyle Spagnolo. Great shot on the ISO. Phenomenal bounce shot. Young players take note. He had two goals. It's seven nothing Shrewsbury. Westboro's Aiden Burke fires just wide. Good bid for the Rangers though. Shrewsbury coming back. Spagnolo. On the roll dodge. Rips one on. Arnold with a good save. And a good ride from Shrewsbury. The pass is stolen. Spagnolo scores. 8 0 Colonials. Westboro on the man up. John Rodebush. Cranking up. Michael Fordall with a great save. Colin Michael also had a hat trick for Shrewsbury. And the Colonials get the win. 12 to 1 is your final. Oxford and Northbridge baseball. Top of the first scoreless game, Oxford's Joel Erickson with the base hit. Runners at first and second for the Pirates. Base is loaded now. Oxford's Noah Buckley coming through, rips one through the left side. Jason Paniant scores. one nothing O-Town. Base is still loaded. Joe Grady, high chopper to short. Joel Erickson scoring. Throw gets away. Dave Meach coming to the plate. He scores, 3-0, Pirates in front. Oxford's Ryan Parr with a base hit to the left side as well. Noah Buckley crossing the dish, 4-0, O-Town. Two on, bottom of the first, Northbridge's Jack Marzik with the fly ball to right. Doing his job. Runners tagging, advancing to scoring position. And then throw gets away, the pitch gets away. Northbridge's Zach Roberts. Crossing the dish, it's 4-1. Joe Grady reaching back. Grady gets the strikeout. And then Josh Keaton. Lifting one and a shallow left for Northbridge. Brian Iarusi scores. It's 4-2, the Rams are down by two. Josh Keaton showing off his speed. Stealing second. Oxford getting the win today. 8-4 is your final. All right, we got Northbridge and Oxford softball as well. 1-1 game, top of the fourth. Oxford's Candace Nelson with the shot deep to right field. But Molly Zona is there, tracking it down and making a nice grab. Northbridge's Julia Fair getting the strikeout to end the inning. Bottom of the fourth, Northbridge's Haley 
Trombino blasting one to right. Crystal Nelson elevating to grab it for the out. Top of the fifth. Julia Fair getting the strikeout in the circle for Northbridge. Oxford Skyler Hodson with the line drive to right. She's safe at first. And then Hodson, aggressive on the base path, taking second, getting into scoring position. Oxford grounder, Grace Hogan with the stop. Runners out at first, Shannon Mortimer firing home. Paige Barber applying the tag and completing the double play. Northbridge getting the win today, six to one is your final. And congratulations to San Jose Barracuda coach Roy Sommer. He was the former Worcester Sharks coach. He was named the AHL's Coach of the Year. Great honor for Roy Sommer. He's the all-time winningest coach in AHL history. He has coached more years in the AHL than anyone else. He's having a great year out there in San Jose. He's a great coach. He's a great guy as well. One of the great all-time characters in the game. Great guy, Roy Sommer. Congratulations. Well-deserved AHL Coach of the Year. Great night for weather and sports and some crawfish, yeah. even though Kevin didn't Throw like it too much. Throw some crawfish in there. <laughs> didn't, well, Brought it back to the station. I don't think was, Andy and we, I don't think you had any takers here. <laughs> no takers here at the station for the crawfish, but that's okay. We'll get it when it's fresh. Absolutely. That's our show tonight. For Kevin Shea, I'm Catherine Andrioli. Thanks for watching Worcester News. Have a good night.